Well, this garage fire in Denver may not look like much, but it destroyed one man's memories. Our Jamie Leary is live at the scene on Morrison Road in Kentucky. And Jamie, that garage belonged to a World War II veteran. It did. Neighbors around here tell me he actually just got back from an honor flight to Hawaii. He raised nine children, and one of his sons actually built this garage. Actually, this is all that's left of it, if you can believe it or not. So it's a really special garage to him, as well as the contents inside of it. Right now, he's just trying to figure out exactly how to move on. A neighboring business captured the moment Harry Fleener's garage went up in flames. Denver Fire responded fast, but the contents of the garage acted like kindling. You want to go over there? Yeah. Inside was an old car the 97-year-old World War II veteran planned to refurbish. But his biggest concern? Among the ash, hundreds of books, the remnants of Harry's old publishing company. State of the art, LTD. The book subjects are particular. Airline hostessing. And may not appeal to all. A lot to do in a nursing home, that's one. But next to working and the docks of Casablanca, they are great on, memories for uh, this veteran. And on Wednesday, he was hoping one book in particular made it through. The Restless Souls of Gettysburg, March On. Harry published a ghost okay. book on Gettysburg. Are you proud of that? <clears throat> Heck yeah, because it's the only authentication of ghosts that are in four-color process. A bit tattered, the pictures and stories are still legible. There's pictures in it of ghosts. You don't see that ghost? Harry has owned the property since the 70s. With his age and no insurance, rebuilding is tough. For now, he's focused on what he does have. Now, now, you can smell the smoke from the battlefield. See, smell it. And they've already filled up one dumpster full of pages. They still have thousands of pages of books to fill. A lot of cleaning up to do. Denver Fire is investigating right now. They have yet to determine a cost. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Our coverage of Colorado